A few decades ago, Warren Buffett was seen as an eccentric investor going against the grain. Today, he's hailed as an oracle whose every stock pick is scrutinized. When it comes to dividend stocks, Buffett has an almost supernatural ability to identify diamonds in the rough. In this video, we'll show you six of Buffett's top dividend stocks that have the potential to surpass even a lucrative full-time job in the long run. You'll discover stocks in Berkshire Hathaway's portfolio with a massive dividend yield up to 5 or 6%. We'll walk through the Buffett Way strategy that transformed a $1.8 billion investment into over 700 million in passive annual dividends. By using Buffett's proven tactics of patience, bargain hunting, and tuning out market noise, these stocks could realistically replace your salary in 10 to 15 years. Imagine collecting five, six, or even seven figure repeat dividend checks year after year without working another day in your life. The roadmap is there. These are the stocks that can supplement your income and provide complete financial freedom. We'll count down from number six to the ultimate Buffett dividend stock that could pay you a quarter million dollars every single month. Starting at number six, we have American Express. This company recognized by the ticker symbol AXP presents itself with an appealing investment option from both a dividend yield and a capital growth standpoint. With a current dividend yield of 1.59%, it also boasts a notable compound annual growth rate of 10.44%. To illustrate, if you invest $10,000 with a long-term perspective and reinvest dividends, your investment could potentially grow to $28,277 in a decade, along with an annual dividend payout of $2,792. In 20 years, that same investment could increase to $78,555, which would translate into a monthly dividend of $641. American Express, established in 1850, has not only maintained its position as a global heavyweight in the payment card and travel service sectors, but also demonstrated a consistent and impressive dividend distribution history that spans more than 40 years. This longevity and reliability bolster is standing as a financial stable enterprise, deeply invested in shareholder returns. Interestingly, American Express constitutes 7.6% of Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway portfolio. Buffett, whose investment strategy is famously geared towards long-term value, evidently sees enduring potential in American Express. His continued investment reflects his belief in the company's financial robustness and prospects for expansion. The company's strong financial foundation is further evidenced by the substantial cash reserve of $33.4 billion, a robust balance sheet, and a global market presence that reaches millions of consumers. With a noteworthy revenue of $52.8 billion last year and a net income of $7.4 billion, American Express continues to impress. Its commitment to innovation and a customer-focused strategy positions it as a compelling pick for investors aiming for both income and growth. Next up is Moody's Corporation, trading under the ticker symbol MCO. This stock entices investors with a current dividend yield of 0.98% and an impressive compound annual growth rate of 14.03%. With these figures in mind, if you invest $10,000 and opt for dividend reinvestment, in 10 years, your initial investment could increase to $39,707. Looking further down the road, after 20 years, thanks to capital appreciation and reinvested dividends, your investment could be worth approximately $157,668, which equates to $20,309 per year and 
$1,692 per month. Moody's is recognized globally for its excellence in credit ratings, research, and analytical services. Berkshire Hathaway, led by Warren Buffett, acknowledges the critical role Moody's plays in financial markets by holding a substantial stock in the company. This endorsement underpins Moody's appeal as a long-term dividend stock. The financial solidity of Moody's is evident in its strong balance sheet and the healthy cash flow that bolsters its dividend disbursements. In the last fiscal year, Moody's reported total revenues of $5.4 billion and a net income of $1.3 billion, a testament to its solid financial health. Furthermore, Moody's has a remarkable track record of paying dividends consistently for 22 years, with an increase in dividends for 13 consecutive years, highlighting its dedication to shareholder returns. Moody's critical function in assessing investors and financial institutions in making well-informed financial choices ensures its potential for continued growth, even in a volatile economic landscape. The company's essential services cement its status as a mainstay in the ever-evolving economy. Next up is HP Incorporated, traded under the ticker symbol HPQ. A significant player in the computer and printer industry, the stock currently offers a dividend yield of approximately 4.08%. Over recent years, HP has increased its dividends by around 12% annually, a commendable rate. Looking at a five-year period, the growth rate remains robust at 13.51% annually. Over a decade, for those considering a long-term investment strategy, the stock has consistently increased its dividend growth by about 15.35% each year. If you invest $10,000 and choose to reinvest dividends, in 10 years, your initial investment could swell to $45,099 with an annual dividend of $6,306. In a 20-year time frame, capitalizing on both capital appreciation and dividend reinvestment, your investment could reach a remarkable $203,394, yielding an annual dividend of $28,000 $441 or $2,370 per month. HP Incorporated has a history of progressively raising its dividends, with a recent annual growth rate of around 16%, holding steady at 12.9% over the past five years, and maintaining approximately 15.35% over the last decade. As a global enterprise, HP generates about two-thirds of its sales from markets outside the United States. Notably, the company has been consistently paying dividends since 1985 on a quarterly basis. Financially, HP stands strong, rated 8 out of 10 for profits, having sustained positive earnings for the past 10 years. Its growth prospects are also rated highly at 8 out of 10, with both revenue and earnings climbing at impressive annual rates of 15.9% and 13.8% respectively, outperforming many of its competitors. At number three, we have Visa Incorporated, operating under the ticker symbol V. This corporation stands as a titan in the payment processing sector, facilitating electronic transactions such as credit cards and debit cards, which have increasingly replaced cash. This industry is on an upward trajectory, with forecasts suggesting it could generate over $3 trillion in revenue shortly. Visa's current dividend yields hovers around 0.7%. While this figure may seem modest, it's largely attributed to significant growth in their stock price. To put this into perspective, a $1,000 investment in Visa a decade ago with dividends reinvested would be valued at approximately $5,500 today. And the momentum is far from dwindling. As the stocks boast a 10-year dividend growth rate of 18.49%, hence 
If you were to invest $10,000 now, in 10 years, you might see your investment soar to $60,954 with an annual dividend payout of $10,079. Looking 20 years ahead, that same investment could potentially expand to a staggering $371,542 with an annual dividend earnings of $61,438 or about $5,199 per month. Visa is also recognized for its pattern of dividend increases and appears to have ample capacity to continue this trend. Given that it currently allocates only around 20% of its earnings to dividends, this indicates promising prospects for the future dividend growth. When it comes to its share price, Visa's stock has appreciated by 29% since last year. Despite this uptick, their shares are considered to be priced reasonably when compared to peers in the industry. Their market valuation seems prudent and their financial health is robust, affirming their status as a formidable force in a flourishing industry. We now explore stocks with the potential to generate over $20,000 per month in dividends in the long term and in the end, I'll show you a stock that could deliver upwards of $100,000 in dividends. Sitting at number two is MasterCard Incorporated, carrying the ticker symbol MA. MasterCard is a powerhouse in the electronic payment sector, facilitating transactions through credit and debit cards. With over half a century of operation, their expansive network serves individuals businesses and governments across more than 210 countries. Dividend-wise, MasterCard has a strong track record. They initiated dividend payouts in 2010 and have been consistently boosting them ever since. Currently, their dividend yield stands at approximately 0.65%, which, while not the highest, is considered favorable for sustained investment. With a 10-year dividend growth rate of 28.44%, a $10,000 investment now, assuming dividends are reinvested and the position is held for the long term, could potentially grow up to $156,027, which is $37,483 per year and $3,123 per month. Crazy thing is, if you hold on to this for another 10 years, for a total of 20 years, the same investment will balloon up to $2,434,454, which will be $584,838 per year and $48,736 per month. MasterCard's foray into the cryptocurrency space marks an expansion that could potentially enhance their business prospects further. And now we arrive at our final selection for the day, which holds the potential to mirror the renowned Coca-Cola effect. At the forefront is Bank of America Corporation, trading under the ticker symbol BAC. This stock is recognized as a dividend powerhouse enticing investors with a generous current dividend yield of around 3.53%, along with a remarkable compound annual growth rate of 36.53%. This potent combination positions it as an attractive option for a broad spectrum of investors, whether they're in pursuit of income or growth. Before we delve into the potential long-term dividend earnings, Let's understand why this stock is a component of Warren Buffett's portfolio. Established in 1904, Bank of America is a behemoth in the U.S. financial landscape with a significant international presence. Its operations span across retail and commercial banking, wealth management and investment banking services. In the previous year, it posted total revenues of $85 billion and a net income of $26 billion, underscoring its solid financial health. Bank of America's outlook is promising, 
bolstered by a vast consumer base and a strategic emphasis on digital banking innovations. A pivotal element of Bank of America is its long-standing history of dividend payments, which has been consistent for nearly five decades, demonstrating a steady dedication to its shareholders. Additionally, the bank has been notably increasing its dividend for 13 consecutive years. So what does this mean for potential dividend payouts? With a 10-year CAGR of 36.53%, if you invest $10,000 and opt for dividend reinvestment and capital appreciation, in 10 years, your investment could be valued at approximately $225,051, which equates to an annual dividend of $60,215, and that's $5,018 per month. Extend that investment to 20 years, and it could expand significantly to around $5,064,794 with an annual dividend of $1,355,137 or about $112,928 per month. Thus, it's plausible to suggest that Bank of America could be the stock to provide you with a Coca-Cola effect in your investment portfolio. In this video, we explored six dividend stocks that are staples in Warren Buffett's investment collection and are ideal for a buy and hold forever strategy. And this strategy will help you surpass your full-time job income and retire early. Thanks for watching.